Hey, what's up? Welcome back to uh, this new video. This one is paper 33 of November 2012 for A-Level Math. Uh, with that being said, obviously, let's move on to the questions we have for you today. So here we have question number one. So we have to solve the equation, which means finding the unknown, which is x here. Find x. And we have to provide the answer in terms of exponential. So one by one, let's see what can we do. So here I have ln of this. Here we have 1 plus this. Now we should know uh, ln, what is 1? One? 1 is simply ln of e is equal to 1. So let's replace this value over here. You will have, again, okay, let's say we don't know this. Whatever. Let's forget about this. So what should we do right now? We should send all the lons to one side. You will have ln x plus 5 minus ln of x is equal to 1. Combine them because they are the same. Now be ln. Here you have x plus 5 minus become divided by x is equal to 1. Now here we should know something. Obviously, uh, when you have Let's say we have ln of x equal to a. Now ln is log to the base of e, x equal to a. To find the value of x, I have to send the base over here. x will be exponentially. So similarly, to find the inside value, I have to send the base, which is exponential, power 1 over here. So we will have this for now, and then we have to uh, cross-multiply you will have what? You will have x plus 5 equal to x times exponential. Now send all the x to one side because we want to make them become the subject, right? So send this over here, you will have x minus x exponential equal to minus 5. So finally factorize, you will have what? You will have this will be 1 minus exponential. x will be the value of minus 5 over 1 minus exponential. Well, if you want to make this look prettier, we can say, oh, it could be 5 over exponential minus 1. Same thing, these two, this, or oh, this could be your answer as well for your value of x for question number 1. Now let's move on to question number 2. So here we have to express this thing over here in this form. So obviously this is just formula we have to know. So r will be the value of what? Square root 24 square. Of course, use your calculator. So 24 square plus 7 square. That'll be 625. Square root of that will give you 25. So R will be the value of 25 in this question. Similarly, the value of alpha, that'll be 10 inverse of the value over here, which is 7 over 24. It is just a formula we have to know for these questions. 10 inverse of 7 divided by 24. That will be 16. 0.26 to two decimal place. So obviously we will have to write this as well. This becomes r, which is 25, sine of theta minus 16.26. This is your answer for part one of your question. Now for part two, hence, so using that value, using that information, find the smallest positive value of theta satisfying this equation. So you can see this one we have shown become this one. So let's replace. This will be equal to this one right now. Here you go, equal to 17. Obviously make sine become subject, so sine of the angle over here will be my subject, and this will be divided by 25. So what is 17 divided by 25 is 0 0.68, which is 0 0.68. As you can see, this is a positive value. So we can say, well, since it is positive, it has to be in the first quadrant or in the second quadrant. This will be your value of your angle directly. This one, let's call this uh, x. x directly, or the value will be 180 minus x. So to find the value of x, so the angle is x, I am calling this x for now, is equal to sine inverse of the value over here, which is 0. Point 6, 8. That will be 42.84 degrees. Right, so finally, obviously x is not the, the value we're trying to find. Theta, e minus this one is the value of x, is equal to 42.84. But we also have to find the other one, which is um, 180 
minus uh, 42.84, which is 137.16. Okay, so now the question is asking you for something. Find the smallest, so only one value, right? Smallest value of theta. So as you can see, this will be obviously the smallest value, so we don't need this one in the end. Theta will be 42.84 plus 16.26. Let's see what we get with that. So 42.84 plus 16.26. That'll be 59.1 degrees for your value of theta, for the smallest value of theta in this question. And that is your question number two. Now let's move on to question number three. So here we have the equations of a curve given to you this by this and this. Now we have to find dy by dx. So similarly as seen before, obviously we understand, dy by dx can be broken down into what? On top here we have dy, multiplied by something. On the base here we have dx. Now they are connected by what? Here we have t, 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 so d, they will be dt and dt. So we have to find this and this and multiply them by each other. So one by one, here we have y, y is equal to 2 ln of 2t plus 3. So dy by dt will be what? That will be 2 is only a multiple, we don't care. That will be 1 over 2t plus 3 times 2. That will be 4 over 2t plus 3 for this one. The next one for x, here we have x is equal to 4t over the value of 2t plus 3. Now, uh, this is a uh, fraction, as you can see. We have to use the quotient rule. So dx by dt will be, we first write the base as it is, then multiply by d by dx of dt of this one, that should be 4, then minus the top as it is, multiply by d by dt of this one, that should be 2, then divide by the base square. Simplify. You will have 8t plus 12 minus 4t times 2, which is 8t. <laughs> Sorry, so. 2 times 4 is 8. Now obviously these two will cancel out, so let's first uh, write these down. Now these two will bam bam go away. You have 12 over the value of 2t plus 3 square. Right. So let's replace everything back to my main equation. So dy by dx is equal to dy by dt, which is uh, 4 over 2t plus 3 multiply by dt by dx, so I have to flip this. This is dx by dt, so here we have dt by dx, so flip this upside down. The bottom will go up, and the top will go down. So this will cancel out with this one, and this will be 1, this will be 3. So your answer will be 2t plus 3 over 3, which could be 2 over 3t plus 1. It could be this or this as your answer for dy by dx. This part one of your question. Now part two, we have to find the gradient of the curve at the point for which x is 1. Okay. Now x is given to you by this equation, 4t over 2t plus 3. If x is 1, we can find the value of t. By cross multiplication, you will have what? You will have 2t plus 3, that will be 4t. Send this over here, you will have 3 is equal to 2t, so t will be just 1.5. So x, we know it is 1, we have to find the corresponding value of t, so we can replace back in my dy by dx to find the gradient. Again, gradient is just dy by dx. And the value of t is equal to 1.5, so we can replace this here, you have 2 over 3 times, 1.5 is what? 3 over 2 plus 1. I'll be 1, 1 plus 1 is just the value of 2. And this is your answer for part 2 of your question, and question number 3. I hope the first half of the video was somewhat helpful. If you guys would love to access the full video, feel free to click on the Patreon link on the main page. Otherwise, you can go to the description below and click on this link to access the Patreon page for the full video. With that being said, good luck, and thank you for watching.